first stage in lentil soup is rin rinsing the lentils so the water is really really cloudy the first few times you do it you just want to get rid of some of that water you want to be able to see the lentils through the water so i might do it one more time but it's looking a lot better next we're going to go on to prepping the veggies so i've just got this big soup pot that i'm going to put everything into I want you to peel and chop your onions and then peel and grate your carrot and your turnip so I don't blend my lentil soup up, so I like to cut up my onions quite finely. It's also why I grate the carrot and the turnip. So then I'm going to prepare the carrot. So just cut the ends off, peel, and then grate. Grated carrot, we're just going to add that into the same pot with the onion. Then we're going to get on to peeling and grating the turnip next. And after you've peeled it, I want you to grate that just the same, using the same as that size. That's when it's finished off the rest of the turnip and just adding that in as well. So that's you've got your diced onion, your grated turnip and your grated carrot. To that, add your two bay leaves and we'll be taking them out at the end as well. On top of the veggies, I'm going to take out your ham hock and just sit that on top. You're going to add your four ham stock cubes and then we're going to add in the liquid. So I'm going to use boiling water because then we're going to stir that up just to make sure that the stock cubes have dissolved as well. And because I use the last pint to rinse out the lentils, and tub the lentils are in, I tip the lentils in, and the last pint of water I use to rinse out the lentils. Or you can dip the lentil bowl in, I mean. There we go. And that way I get every last little lentil. So then we're going to put that on the hob and medium heat to bubble away but give it a few stirs for maybe a minute or so just to make sure that the salt pops are dissolved. Take a wee bunch of parsley and I'm just going to roughly chop that and put it into the soup at the hour mark. That's me just added it in, give it a little stir and continue cooking. Probably going to go for another hour. It's all coming together. So after your soup has been cooking for approximately two hours, I'm going to lift out the ham hock and put it onto this plate to let it cool before we take the fat off and strip all the meat off, cut it up or shred it up and add it back into the soup pot. And whilst that's cooling before you shred it, to get the texture I'm looking for, I don't blend my soup. I just use a potato masher and I give it a bit of mashing just to kind of break up the texture a bit more and I should have said as well I'm going to want you to lift out the bay leaves because you can't eat them so mash up with your potato masher and lift out your bay leaf you can find the second one there we go And you can see that there, nice blended soup, but still got the textures of the lentil and some of the veg as well. It's my wee knack, I've been using it for years now and it gives me the perfect lentil soup. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. All we're going to do is obviously add in the shredded ham hock and I would encourage you to add that back in before you season it because the ham hock can be quite salty. But taste thereafter, if you still want it, want some more salt and pepper, add some salt and pepper. 